हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू द सीक्रेट बिहाइंड सक्सेसफुल हाइड्रोडी सेक्शन now before we move on to the secret let me start with the basics of the art of the hydro dissection so what are the basics i think the first most important thing is the right place to inject the fluid which is near the equator of the lens so that is something very important when you are doing hydro dissection now certain important prerequisites ensure that ccc is complete and is of adequate size you should not do hydro dissection when ccc is too small remove some viscoelastic from the anterior chamber to reduce the anterior chamber pressure use two cc syringe and 27 gauge cannula to do hydro dissection use the non dominant hand to hold the cannula hub so it doesn't shoot while you are injecting the fluid there should be no air in the syringe when you are injecting and also it is better to place the plunger at the mcp joint rather than on the phalanx to have better control on the injection of the fluid now always confirm free flow of the fluid through the cannula because sometimes the cannula may be blocked so it's important to check the free flow outside after ensuring that ccc is complete and should be at least 4.5 to 5 mm always use the main incision never use the side port incision for hydro dissection make sure that you let some visco out and let the fluid out as you are pushing the fluid and tap the nucleus down before injecting more fluid so do not allow excessive pressure build up inside the bag or in the anterior chamber during hydro dissection so the end point is anterior movement of the nucleus and free rotation of the nucleus again to reemphasize always tap the nucleus down and let the fluid come out from the other end after doing hydro dissection in case of small pupil the anterior movement of the nucleus is a substitute sign for fluid wave and in mature cataract and posterior polar cataract hydro dissection should be avoided so let's have a look at one of the cases where hydro dissection is being done as you can see the ovd is being taken out so that the anterior chamber pressure is lowered before we start injecting fluid watch the placement of the 27 gauge cannula there right at the equator of the lens and then pushing the fluid now watch how the fluid wave is achieved as you start injecting the fluid at the same time the surgeon is keeping the posterior lip of the incision pressed to allow the fluid to come out freely this avoids pressure build up in the anterior chamber as well as in the bag always tap the nucleus down before you start injecting the fluid again this is very important to avoid hydro rupture of the posterior capsule and if you feel the nucleus rotation is not adequate you can repeat the hydro in multiple quadrants as well till you achieve free rotation keep tapping the nucleus down to avoid fluid build up inside the bag to avoid hydro rupture now after seeing all this what i realize is that still the beginner surgeons are struggling to get hydro dissection in some cases and then i realize while i was watching my colleague pushing the fluid is there is something more which experience surgeon does the surgeon feels the resistance to the fluid push when the hydro dissection is being done and that is the key to recognize when we can get a good hydro dissection wave so let's find out in this particular case so when i realized this i tried it in very next case which i was doing and after doing all the preliminary steps when i started injecting the fluid i realized that the moment when there is increased resistance that is the time when i push more firmly as against a beginner surgeon where whenever the surgeon starts feeling the resistance the surgeon may give up and start injecting in other quadrant so idea here is to realize where we are getting the resistance and that is the point where we should push further now just here there is low resistance the moment i start feeling higher resistance when i am pushing the fluid then i am injecting 
more forcefully so that I achieve good hydro dissection and you can see the fluid wave passing. Then subsequently I tried this trying to look for that resistance rather than what I am seeing under the microscope and I realized that that is the point of learning. So I was basically feeling the resistance and pushing the fluid at the right point. So the flow chart to be followed here is that when you are pushing this fluid or injecting the fluid is there higher resistance which is felt if there is higher resistance then check if the anterior chamber is deepening or not if it is deepening then stop and decompress the anterior chamber if it is not deepening then push with more force that is how a good hydro dissection can be achieved at that point but if there is no resistance at all when you are injecting fluid then you have to change the position of the cannula and place it more closer to the equator now do try this technique in your next surgical case and let me know now I have lot of such videos on my YouTube channel so I have live stream videos also that you can see on my channel I have edited videos under multiple playlists like FACO training videos thought process of training which is very important for all of you to see and there are experiences from our trainees as well lot of different variety of surgeries which uh, we have done and edited and if you go to the playlist you can see multiple playlists you can see different uh, edited videos on hard cataract, soft cataract, traumatic cataract as well as subluxated, torical, pediatric cataracts and many more you have a particular playlist called basic FACO steps which has all the information about the basics of FACO surgery there are many complex cases as well so I request you to go through all the playlists and watch all the videos that you can thanks for watching do subscribe to my youtube channel and do comment